Good morning. I am just coming home from my physiotherapy. Apparently, um, I was diagnosed with the um, what do you call that? Tennis elbow, which is also called tendonitis, and um, yeah, it's due to injury at work, so I have to go for physio. But anyways, um, I'm just coming home now. I know it's been a while since I haven't been vlogging, but just because you know, um, I've been busy with work and whatnot with the dogs and family, so a lot of things is going to go on. But yes, I am back. Uh, hopefully, for those who are watching, um, uh, continue to watch. But so now I'm, as you can see, I am making spaghetti. So I have the onions, the garlic. I'm making the Filipino style spaghetti. So I went to the Metro today and I picked up some um, garlic bread. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I picked up some garlic bread. This is already uh, spread with garlic, so all I have to do is just toast it. And I also picked up some uh, coconut bun, which is a Chinese coconut bun. And of course, you can't go wrong with um, hot dogs. Hot dogs in your uh, Filipino spaghetti. And of course, the ground beef. So, I will be making this. So. I'll show you in a bit. How so to right make now it. I'm just making the um, the uh, preparing the ingredients for the spaghetti. As you can see, I am cutting the hot dog. Um, I'm just cutting it in half and then just cutting them slanted like this, just so that I can have a lot more hot dog. But yeah. Um, excuse me. So all you do is just cut them like this and just set them aside on the table. So as you can see I already set, um, I already chopped up some onions and, and garlic and now I'm doing the hot dog. So I just cut them like so. Um, I'm in the kitchen right now with the dogs. They, they know I'm up to something in the kitchen. So. They usually hang out with me in here. But anyway, so all you do is just cut them out like this. So, yeah. Okay, I'm making uh, Filipino spaghetti. So for those who want to learn how to make it, it's very simple. It's a very uh, simple ingredient. Uh, anyways, all you need is just some hot dogs, um, onions, chopped up onions, garlic, and of course your ground beef. And right now I'm heating my pan. So all you got to do is just drizzle a little bit of oil. And I'm also boiling water, so I'll just drizzle a little bit of oil too, just so that you don't um, get the pasta all sticky. But yeah, so I'm just waiting for the pan to heat up. And as I'm cooking, as usual, I have the dogs watching me. There's Aria. Hi, Aria. Hello. <laughs> and of course, there's Gizmo. 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 They like to watch me cook because they know that there's something in the kitchen, and they're hoping that something drops on the floor, but. I try to be careful, so I'll show you in a bit. So okay. my pan is hot, and now I'm just gonna add in the um, the garlic and the onions. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do this. We oui. right now I just put the the garlic and the onions. So all you gotta do is just um, trim it, let them fry for a bit until the um, Onions are a bit golden brown, and just put your um, just put your heat on moderate, so it doesn't have to be too high or too low. And then you put the ground beef in. You let it cook. If you find that the pot is a little bit too dry. For the meat, you can always drizzle a little bit of oil. Not too much, but just a bit. But yeah. So, you just boil it. I mean boil it. Sorry, you can try it. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm making the noodles. So, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to boil their noodles. So, now my noodles are uh, boiled and I'm just going to cut them in half. Get another handful. You 
can use any brand of spaghetti. I mean, they, they're all pretty much the same. Right now I'm using the uh, Catelli, which is a good brand too. It doesn't stick. So that's all you're going to do. And I'm just stirring my meat right now. So you wait until your meat is um, nice and brown. And once that's done, then you can just put the hot dog. I mean, the hot dog is pretty much half cooked. So all you got to do is just kick it for a few minutes. Because, you know, you're still going to let it simmer with the sauce. But yeah. Okay, now I have the hot dogs inside my pot, and um, so just let it let it cook for about maybe say ten minutes, or even five is good. No more than ten minutes. Oh, I forgot to mention the sauce, the spaghetti sauce I use is this UFC. It's already um, seasoned, so and it's sweet too, so no need to put any sugar. So that's a secret about um, Filipino. Filipino spaghetti, it's very sweet and a lot of kids like that. That's why uh, they like it. But so yeah, um, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing right now is just um, let the hot dogs and the meat cook and then I'll put in the sauce. Oh my dog is waiting patiently as I prepare my lunch. <laughs> Arya! Arya! Hello! Arya! Where's mommy? Hello! Oh well. She has a mind of her own, a world of her own. But Gizmo, hi Gizzy. Yes, he's a good boy. Yes, you are a good boy. Sit. He pays attention. Okay, watch this. Pa. No. Shake. 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 Good. I can't see. Shake. Good boy. How about the other one? Good boy. Sit pretty. Good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, you are. If you want to teach your dogs, Tricks you have to teach him at a young age because I taught Gizmo and I've had him since um, he was about eight weeks old and he's four years old this year. So right now he's just eating <laughs> this girl. Hiya! Messy yes, hair. There's the finished product. So as you can see, I've already toasted my garlic bread. So let's eat. It's good. I'm eating spaghetti and my spaghetti ended up really good actually <laughs> although I didn't have to add any um, other um, what do you call that uh, herbs because it's already inside the um, UFC sauce but as I'm eating I'm looking out this spectacular view for those who I don't live in um, Toronto actually I don't really live in Toronto area, close to Toronto area but I also live on a high-rise building so as you can see I have this beautiful view right there you see that so as I'm eating and this is what I'm looking at right now um, um, it's really cold here it's actually minus I think minus eight but it feels like minus 15 outside so it's really cold so if you stay outside for another what um, sorry I have to move my my camera for another five ten minutes for five or ten minutes you will get frostbite. right now and I'm just relaxing and um, I walk outside and I'm looking for my dog guess where I see him it's right there I can see <laughs> Hi, my Gimmo. Are you just sitting out here? Mm. There's the other one. She's snapping away. I don't know if you can hear her snoring. You hear her snoring. <laughs> She's sound asleep. Why don't you want to look at me? Gizmo. Gizmo. He doesn't even want to look at me. Look at him. He's so bad. Look at mommy. Kiss mommy. 
kiss. I just asked for a kiss. I'm sure <laughs> for those who have dogs, I'm sure you know how it feels like to cuddle up with their dog. But it smells so good. <laughs> just looking at me. Anyways, I'm going back to my room. I'm bored. And my, my son. I don't want to bug him. Anyways, I'm just going to chill in my room and I'm just watching YouTube. So, um, yeah. I, I'm very tired. Ugh. I'm lying down right now and I'm lying down on my favorite pillow. This is what you call the body pillow, you see? And this pillow is so soft. I actually bought this at um, Walmart. Mm. It's so soft. You can actually sleep. Just kidding. <laughs> good. This is my dog's favorite spot. Hi, Gimel. He's always chillaxing in this sofa. Hello. But yeah, I'm uh, just wondering what kind of weather it is outside. It looks, looks kind of cold and dry. <laughs> Um, for those who um, who are living uh, in the hot weather, it's here in Canada where I'm living in Ontario. It's really cold, so I'm just opening up the balcony. Let's see. It's nice weather. There's the highway. It's not too busy right now, but I get a nice view. pretty much live in a high-rise building and um, my dining area is right in front of the um, right in front of the uh, uh, what do you call this yeah the view <laughs> anyways I'm just out of uh, okay hi Gimo he just went outside to do his business wanna play ball go get your ball get your ball Gizmo come in wanna play ball Let's play ball. Let's see. Go get it. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Let's play. You want to play? You have to give me the ball. <gasps> Excuse me. Give me your ball. Come on. I guess he doesn't want to play. But anyways. Hi. Going back to my room. Um, there's really not much to do because um, I'm pretty much tired. Uh... What else can I do? Hey, you guys. You want to play, Gizmo? Me your toy. Where's your toy? Gizzy. Gizmo. Gizzy. Oh, well. He doesn't want to play. But, uh, I went to, uh, once, I don't know if anybody knows what that is. It's Once Better Living store. It's actually a store where they sell a lot of Sunrio products and um, a lot of, uh, what do you call it? House house products like curtains. Um, a lot of things like, like this container here. And you can actually use it as, um, I don't know, just a a storage box and it just clips on like that so it secures on tightly so that one was less than what two dollars and I also got this one it's like a hand towel wash towel it's very cute because it has characters on it and that one was about I think four dollars there's about three pieces in there and then I got another one here it has teddy bears so, pretty cute. I actually like the store because they have a lot of um, Sunio stuff. Um, for those who don't know me very well, but I love Hello Kitty. So you can see my my stuff there. I saw Hetty Kitty stuff. And I have more up there. I have my pop. I also like the Minion. I just recently got this one. And I have Dave. That day, 
And I also have more Hello Kitty stuff there. I have Mochi Chi. I have a huge Kelly Hello Kitty. I got a lot more inside there. I have I just haven't had a chance to organize it, so that I will and I'll show you as soon as I do. I also like going oh I forgot to show you. Another thing that I bought at the one. Um it's this cute little basket. This one's I got for like five bucks. I'll show you. Cute basket. It's good to put like storage stuff in it. Open it up. See, it just opens up like this. Sorry. Can't do it with one hand. <laughs> you give me one second, I'm gonna put you down. So you can see it. Okie dokie. One second. I'm just opening it. It's easy to collapse. It just looks like that. So it's a cute little basket. It has handles on the sides. That's the design. It has like little embroidery and polka dots. It's pretty cute. Like, it doesn't look as um, thing right now because there's nothing inside. So maybe if I put something inside, then it'll look better. But that one was that one's very expensive. I bought that for like six dollars each and I bought like three pieces so when I'm done organizing my my stuff here which just all this stuff here it's all so cluttered and I wanted to organize it just to make it look less cluttered so but I'll show you when I'm done with it so I'll see you then I also went to Dollarama they have a lot of good stuff there too it's one of my favorite stores that I buy some of my products for my dogs and I bought this this mat and it's foam and it's a an absorbent mat that I usually um, put by the door where they come out um, to do their business so when they come in on a wet day they can just dry their feet on here I also this one was three dollars actually and then I got this um, plastic container um, oops, I can't separate it oh, well, there you go I bought two of them this one was I think oh, there's no price tag on it I think this was a dollar large sorry hold on a sec Oh, this was two fifty. So it has section trays, and it's good to put like makeup or whatnot. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided what to do with it yet, but I will figure it out. Hi! I just got home doing um, the laundry, <laughs> and I'm just having my dinner. This is what I'm having: leftover um, Hawaiian pizza from yesterday. Remember earlier I was I showed you the outside during the daytime. Now I'm gonna show you the outside at nighttime. Look at my view. <clears throat> it's like little fireworks. <laughs> Feel the lights on the highway. So during the daytime I get a nice view as well as during the nighttime. Nice. Say hi, doggy. This is my Arya. Arya! Arya! Okay. You walk away from mommy? Oi! Oi! I'm talking to you. Oi! Arya! Arya! She's deaf. Here's the other one. Gizmo! Sit. Sit, Gizmo. Gizmo! Nobody want to listen to me today. What's going on? Anyways. I'm just gonna continue eating. Get a ball and he went to get his bone. You wanna play? Come on, let's go. Come in. 
Are ya? You wanna play? Come on. Let's play, Gizmo. Bring it over here to mommy. Come on. If you wanna play, you gotta bring it over. The name of the game uh, for Gizmo is not fetch, but rather chase after him. <laughs> he wants me to get the bone from him. Look. See. I bet you when I come close to him, he's just gonna grab onto the bone. I told you. See, he wants me to play chase after him, not fetch. Gimmo, hurry up. Hey. Come on. Give the bone. Get the bone. There you go. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna fetch the bone. Here, this is his bone. It's actually like a teething bone. It's made out of rubber and he just loves to play with it. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Gizmo. Hurry up. Give it to mommy. Come on, Gizmo. Uh, hello. Hurry up. Gizmo. Really? Okay, there you go. Good boy. Come on, hurry up. Over here, Gizmo. Come on. I have Aria right next to me. Hello. Hello. Oops, sorry, baby. Good girl. He's such a good girl. Okay, Gizmo. Can I have the bone? Come on. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I swear to you, this dog is really weird because he doesn't <laughs> want me to get... He doesn't want to bring the ball to me or whatever the bone but he wants me to chase after him gizmo watch this i have some cookies aria look i have cookies for you aria 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 come here honey aria good girl he's not he's not falling for it where is he Really? <laughs> he's, oh, you can't see him, but he's inside his little, his little hut. Gizmo! He, <sighs> you like my little um, diffuser? I just got it today in the mail. It's so pretty. And what it does, it gives out a cool steam and it smells good. I also put like, um, what do you call it? Uh, some kind of scent and it's called Hawaiian. Oh, it smells so good. See that? Pretty. Come on, Gimmo. You still won't give me. Oh, Gizmo. But anyways, I am going to call it a night. It is about almost quarter to ten. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.